Hello, my lovelies. It is time for my March Wheel of TBR, so stay tuned. So today we are doing my virtual Wheel of TBR yet again. Uh, currently, Xander and I, and Snicker, who's down here, are in Rome. And uh, <laughs> we are currently in this little hostel, so <laughs> not a lot of room uh, <laughs> to maneuver around in, and the lighting's not the best. But we're making do. Uh, our next stop is Florence, Italy, and we're staying in a very nice place there, so I had to kind of balance things out. So, if you don't know, Wheel of TBR is one of my multiple TBR games that I play in order to help pick my TBR for the month. Typically, I play multiple games in a month. However, with all of the travel that I'm doing, I'm only doing this virtual wheel um, for now. And I'll be picking my other stuff up later. Also, I look very red in this lighting. Okay, so here is what my wheel looks like. I am also not doing any rollovers or anything like that. Uh, no punishment spins. The only thing I'm going to do is if I spin the same prompt twice, I will add an extra spin. Uh, I'm going to be doing a five spins. Also, this month is spring or March is spring into reading a thon. So I'm going to try to get my books to fit squares for the, the bingo board. And uh, yeah, so I think after I go through all of my wheel stuff, I'll then tell you what I'm picking for Buzzwordathon, for TBR Knockout, and for Spring and a Readingathon. All right, so uh, let's see. As far as last month's spins, um, I was supposed to do Random Word Prospect, and I did a five star prediction for that. Uh, I selected The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and I did not get around to reading that. Uh, my pick was Ninth House. Did not get around to reading that. Popular book was Daisy Jones and the Sixth, and I did read that. First book in a series, I selected Goose Girl. Have not read that. And color, I had Concrete Gray, and I selected Until the Beginning by Amy Plum. I did not read that. However, I did end up reading Thornhenge, or Thornhedge by T. Kingfisher. And that has probably around the same color on it, so it could have counted. Oh, and my buddy read for my coffee patrons this month is Defy the Night by Bridget Kimmer. My book buddy of the month is Christina, and that's what she selected. So hopefully I can get that to fit into something. All right, let's get started with spin number one. I'm just going to bring it up to the screen here. Let's see what we got. Seasonathon author. Okay, well that could be handy because I believe one of the squares on the bingo board is rewind and that's to read a past Seasonathon author. So let me see what I can find on my different um, Kindle, ebook, audiobook, all those things. See what we can come up with. I have to switch phones to my other phone. I currently have two phones. This is my at-home phone, which has my wheel on it. And then this one is um, like a unlocked phone that I got to use while we're in Europe. Okay, so I think for this one, I'm going to go with Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. Um, let's see. There you go. Because I am able to get that on Libby. So let me write that down. Okay. On to spin number two. Beautiful cover. Okay. So for beautiful cover, that's really open to interpretation. Anything that I think is a beautiful cover. Um, hmm. I think the Goose Girl. Ooh, it got dark on me. I think the Goose Girl uh, by, I think it's Shannon Hale, has a very pretty cover. So 
And that was the one I should have read last month and didn't read. So I think I'm going to put that one for this as well. Okay, on to spin number three. A small book. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit tricky. Um, small book, I would typically say something that's under like 250 pages. Let me look on my Kindle and see what I have because I probably have something small on there. Okay, so I think for this one, I'm going to go with a funny little one. This one's only 96 pages and that is... Cupid is a Cunt by Drea Denae. <laughs> it's like a reverse harem type book. But yeah, it's only 96 pages, so I should be able to get through that quickly. Okay, on to spin number four. New author. Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. Okay, so for this one, I decided to look on Libby and just go to what's available. And I thought, okay, I'll just scroll through and see what book that I, I know I own at home that is available now. And the very first book, oh, and it's also a new author. The very first book here is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. And it looks like that. And I know I have this book, so that's what I'm going to select for this. Okay, so this next spin will be my final spin unless we get a prompt that we've already gotten. So here's spin number five. Royalty. Okay. That should be pretty easy. I need to check on something, though. Be right back. Okay, so I had to check a couple of things, but the book that I decided to go with for this is Defy the Night by Bridget Kimmer. Uh, I was able to find that on Libby as well, and royalty is involved. And I think that also fulfills one of the squares for Spring and a Reading a Thon. So let me look, see what I can do for each thing, and then I will come back and let you know what I've selected for Buzzword, TBR Knockout, and spring in a reading a thon. Okay, I am back and I've gotten it all figured out. Uh, so for TBR Knockout, the theme is New Beginnings. The first prompt is to read a debut novel. For that, I will be reading Lessons in Chemistry. The second prompt is read a book involving starting over, and for that, I'll be reading The Midnight Library. Uh, for Buzzword, it's character names as titles. And for that, I'll be reading Eleanor Ophelia is completely fine. Uh, then we have uh, the bingo board. So I figured there's three different possible bingos I could get. The one across the top, the diagonal from the top left corner, and then also straight across the middle. So for spring cleaning, I could do the Goose Girl, which is a book that's been on your shelves for like ever. Uh, New Beginnings, first book in a series. The Goose Girl would work for that, but also Shadow of the Fox. Wet T-shirt contest. Cupid is a cunt. Because uh, reverse harem, all that. Uh, road trip is to listen to an audiobook, and pretty much most of my books are audiobooks. So I just wrote down lessons in chemistry for that. Let It Shine is a cozy read, and I feel like the Goose Girl is going to be that for me. Uh, Spring Fashion, beautiful book. Again, The Goose Girl. Uh, then we have Group Book, which is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. And of course, we'll be having our live show chat with her discussing the book. And then Tiny Umbrellas. I think probably my favorite iced beverage is probably iced coffee. So I'll get an iced coffee somewhere. Self Care. I totally plan on doing a spa day. Why did it get so dark on me? Uh, then for Prom Queen, that's to read a popular book. For that, I'll read Ninth House. And then the group book is part of that one as well. Uh, and then Spring Forward, 
I was able to find In a Burning on Hoopla, which is the second book in the Goose Girl series. I think it's something of Bayern or something is actually the name of the series. But And then uh, For Love is in the Air, Lessons in Chemistry. So that is my entire TBR for March. Do you guys plan on reading on any of these? Uh, have you read any of them? Did you like them? Did you not? Are you participating in the Spring and a reading a -thon? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!